So today we're going to talk about the missing nutrient in allergies. Uh, that being said, there are other causes of allergies. I've done other videos on this, but I haven't touched on a nutrient deficiency that is behind quite a few different allergic reactions. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you a new word, atopy. This is a genetic tendency to develop allergies like rhinitis, which is a sinus congestion, eczema, rashes, and just generally high histamines. One cause of this is low folic acid, okay? So folic acid is involved in so many different uh, biochemical reactions. Uh, the one I'm gonna focus on is involving uh, reducing histamines, okay? You would get folic acid from dark leafy greens. You can also get it in beef liver, but mainly it's in the dark leafy green vegetables. Folic acid is involved with this enzyme, MTHFR, methylene tetrahydrofolate reductase. You didn't need to know that, but that's the name of this enzyme. This enzyme allows folic acid to work, and many people have a mutation with this enzyme. And you can actually get a, the genetic test to see if you have this. And I want to put some information below on this because I did another video on this, but it's actually a lot more common than people think. But if you have a deviation or a mutation with this enzyme, you're not going to be able to absorb and convert this into your body that well. So you're going to have a deficiency. And one of the big symptoms is allergies and rashes through the body. So here's the solution. In addition to eating more dark leafy greens, um, there's three remedies. One would be methylfolate, four to seven milligrams per day. B12, you wanna get the methyl version, not the cyanocobolamine version. This is more the natural activated version. 4,000 micrograms, not milligrams. And B6, 400 milligrams. And you wanna take these together with a meal once a day for three months. And there's been some really interesting research on this and this protocol. So I put the link down below, check it out. And thanks for watching. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.